hi love so welcome back to my channel today's video i'm doing a makeup transformation because i've been looking a hot mess lately i have not hit the subscribe button then please do and if you have hit the subscribe button then welcome back to my channel and into it so in the video i didn't really plan this make this eye makeup so i kind of had to backtrack like Typically when I do like this kind of eyeshadow, I would do my eyeshadow first and then face makeup, but I did face makeup first and I had to just um, kind of go backwards. So you'll see that in the clip and you'll understand what I mean when you see it. And I just wanted to point that out to you guys. But yeah, so let's just get into it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my brows and I'm just using a regular pencil. And as you see, can see, I'm just shaping my eyebrows and just filling them in. This is just a dark brown pencil. As you guys can see, I'm using this Makeup Revolution um, concealer. I'm not sure what color this one is in. I think it's C13. And I'm just cleaning up my brows with them. So I just, you know, create a line and then blend that in. So I'm doing the same to the other side. And just clean it up best way you can. Then I go into the middle of my brow just so it doesn't give me that unibrow look. And then I blend out the front. And here I am using a Physician's Formula. It's a primer. And next, I'm going to use my Maybelline Dream Set and Mousse. I think this is in the color Cocoa. Love this thing. So I'm just blending that all in. Trying to get my neck. And then I'm using the same concealer. I love this concealer. And I'm just highlighting, um, yeah, <laughs> highlighting everywhere. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my beauty blender I swear this is the most tedious part is blending I hate blending I hate it okay so I'm using my Maybelline fit me in the I'm um, loose powder it's in the color deep and yeah I do a little reverse contouring as well just because I have hyperpigmentation as is now I'm going in with my Morphe palette. I'm going to use this color into the crease. It's like a raspberry, a little darker than raspberry. Just blend that into my crease. And now I'm going to create a cut crease with the same concealer I used. And I'm going back in to my Morphe palette. I'm going to use that color. This one I think is the 35V palette. I'm just putting that all over my eyelid. Oh, I love this color so much. And you guys see I have fallout. I really didn't mean to do all of this for my eyes. So now I'm going back with a loose powder. And I'm just trying to get the fallout like off. And now I'm using my L'Oreal cat, cat Eye to do a um, wing eyeliner. I mean a wing liner. And I'm just doing the other side. And now I'm just adding some shadow underneath, oh, oh, for, um, on my waterline, sorry guys. And these are my lashes um, that I sell on my website, I'll put it in the link below. But yeah, I'm just applying that. I usually have a tweezer, but I didn't have it um, this time. So, this is like my first time applying without a tweezer, and it worked out. And 
never mind my closure. <laughs> oh, I'm also using Makeup Revolutions highlighter. I love this thing so much. I'm highlighting underneath my eyebrows and then my cheeks. And I like to highlight my nose as well. And now here's my uh, lip combo that I like. This is Black Radius Lip um, Matte Lipstick. And I'm just using a regular um, brown liner just to, I love this like combo, I love it so much. So I'm just blending that together. And like I said, never mind my closure because we're gonna get to the hair. But yes, so I am using this spray it just has water and conditioner in it. I like to use this for my curls. Um, and then I'm using this Tresemme Curl Hydrate. Hydrate. It's like a cream. And yeah, so I'm just wetting my hair and doing the same. Just blending, uh, mixing all of that in. So, and this is actually a sew-in that I've done myself and I just have a closure. A lace closure that I typically like to um, use my got to be glue to get that to um, yeah to get it to stay down so that's what I'm doing here I'm putting my got to be glued on my closure and then my freeze spray I just put a little just enough to keep it down and now I'm just going to put my scarf on and leave it on for a little bit just to keep that closure down and I'll be right back now I left it on for a bit taking my scarf off I hate that it lays the hair too much so I go in with a comb just to bring some of that hair up because I do not like that it's like down like that if that makes any sense but yes that was all thank you guys so much for watching